Another SmackDown superstar has been injured. Future plans for the AEW world title have been revealed. And a released WWE superstar has announced their in-ring return. More on that in a little bit. But yes, we're back with more news. If you missed our earlier news video, do check that out with myself and Andrew earlier today on the channel. But Andrew, another SmackDown superstar has reportedly been injured. Well, not even reportedly. It's been, it's been kind of confirmed by mm. WWE on an appearance on Fox Sports out of character um, with Ryan Satin because Rick Boogs uh, said that Nakamura suffered a hand injury that's kept him away from in-ring competition recently. And we haven't, to be fair, yeah, we haven't seen him too recently, certainly not in the ring. No, definitely not. And uh, I was looking on, I was looking on Cage Match because because I was quite uh, curious about you know his recent Intercontinental Title run and everything. And uh, he's not. Is he still the? Champion. He's still the cha he's still no! he's still the champion, right? He's still the champion. My God, and he never defends he's, it. He he's never not defends he's it. not defended the title since November in a house show, but September on TV, and he won it in August as well. Um, he's he's it, it's been very strange. I don't know if WWE just don't have really anything sort of solid for Nakamura at the moment. The the secondary titles definitely feel not as important anymore which is such a shame especially not the you know? IC one yeah, yeah. yeah and you've got such a good mid card as well in WWE like you could put Nakamura against anybody and it just make some magic um I've not been super up on Rick Boogs and Nakamura's interactions oh, and mate, stuff they're rock recently. Stars, Andrew. They are rock stars. I do like it when Pat McAfee gets on the announce desk and does all his dancing and goes mental. But um, yeah, I don't. I don't like the, that. The, there's something. There's just something that doesn't really intrigue me about Nakamura having a match, but then having to rely on Rick Boogs to um, distract people with his guitar skills and everything. It's odd, you know? isn't it? Yeah. You're Shinsuke Nakamura. What are you mm -hmm. doing? You're meant to be, you know, a, a badass. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so I do agree. I do understand what you mean. But yeah, he hasn't wrestled since teaming with Boogs to defeat Happy Corbin and Madcap Moss at a house show in Rockford, Illinois on December 18th. So he's been out for a, for a couple of weeks now. Mm. Um, Boogs was asked about if he has any desires to break away from Shinsuke and said, I think it's inevitable that's going to happen because it's WWE and tag teams, I suppose. But he goes on to say, I'm not looking to like rush it by any means because I feel like me and Shin have not even scratched the surface yet of what we can do together, combining our forces. So I'm just kind of looking forward as of right now to him, for him to be healthy and cleared and then for us to just kick some tail. And then from there down the road, we'll branch off, but I'm in no rush with that. Mm. Um, I think they have scratched the surface and yeah. more of what they can do together. <laughs> I think I, th I, th I completely agree with you. I think they've kind of hit the, uh, the, perhaps the peak of what they can do together. Um, and, now with like Drew McIntyre out of the title picture, I know we've got Seth Rollins coming in now from Raw to challenge uh, Roman Reigns for the title at Royal Rumble. But you could have had someone, I think, or you could have even had Shinsuke still as the Intercontinental Champion, but um, have him be a next big baby face going up against Roman Reigns. Like that would have been really cool to see. You've got Shinsuke Nakamura, just someone who is a phenomenal wrestler, a phenomenal athlete, and you, you just don't utilize him as much on TV. Granted, now, obviously, he's got an injury, and we do hope he gets well very soon and recovers yeah. from that quickly, but um, he's a bona fide star, and to not have him, I think, in the title picture with Roman Reigns is a, a, bit of a, de a, a little bit of a detriment, I think, you know. And I also think just his whole reign has been, like, if you're not going to do anything with him with the IC title, then there's other people who could benefit from holding mm -hmm. that title as well. So mm -hmm. it's just, I think it's just kind of, sloppy booking all around and it yes. doesn't help anybody yeah. um but you know smackdown generally now are, as you mentioned drew mcintyre is currently out with an injury and sasha banks as well so their mm -hmm. their their big stars are going down a little bit so hopefully um yeah hopefully all of those guys recover very soon um it's crossing over now crossing the divide to aew where there apparently are future plans, according to Dave Meltzer on Wrestling Observer Radio, mm. about a future AEW World Title feud. Apparently, next up, guess who it guess who it is in line for Hangman Adam Page? Boom! boom. It's I all about the boom. In the head, <laughs> oh well, we're just that excited because yeah, I'm so apparently, excited. apparently the talk is that it's going to be Adam Cole, baby, mm. um, against Hangman Adam Page. I love that. I think that Me too. Really good. Really good. Me too. And really obviously, the, the, and I mean, that just adds 
so much to the i mean there's so, sorry there's so much that can add to that feud as well obviously with bullet club stuff with elite stuff they've been together in certain forms they've just missed each other in different promotions and stuff as well and i think this is finally like a big blow off uh, and uh Adam Cole deserves it. Obviously, you know, he's been winning his matches, but perhaps in a naughty fashion quite a few times. Oh. But um, I think I think it's it's time we see Adam Cole in that title picture, you know? And then that also leads down the line to if Kenny Omega comes back, uh, things sort of maybe a divide between him and Adam Cole as well. I mean, we'll see Clean what it. happens there. I got this. I got this, brah. But have Ooh. you got this? Have you got this? I don't know if he's got this. I also think that he could be a contender for like the first person that Kenny Omega feuds with when he comes back. Mm. Although I do think as well that could be Brian Danielson because now that mm. he's lost to Hangman. But, but you know, we only have to wait, I guess, until this week's Dynamite. They'll possibly announce his next, uh, Hangman's next rival on the show. Announce, do you know what I mean? Like right yeah. into the storyline. So mm. we'll maybe only have to wait a short time and see. But yeah, apparently there has been talk of it being Adam Cole next. And I, I think... I think I fully agree with you in that now now is the right time because there were there were criticisms that I didn't necessarily agree with with people online. So, yeah, it was very reactionary, but people are saying like, oh, you should have stayed with WWE. They would have utilized him better. This was because I think Hangman, I think Adam Cole wasn't pushed as heavily as some people expected upon first arriving mm. in AEW. But to that criticism, I'd say, well, look at Miro, like he he's doing great, and and he didn't start off at the top of the card they just had to slot him in at first mm. and also I think if he'd stayed in WWE it wouldn't have he's not what they're looking for at the minute look at the changes that NXT have exactly it, would have, it wouldn't have been I don't think it would have been a good move no so I think I think he made the right decision and I think that I, I, I don't want him to win the belt but mm. I wouldn't be that mad if he did. Me neither. But I, I mean, I, I, I do obviously want Hangman to have a little bit of a longer reign, especially coming off that Brian Danielson match. That it was war. so good. It was so good. And he's really proven himself now to be a fighting champion. And I think mm -hmm. with the odds stacked against him, perhaps, you know, with Red Dragon coming in and everything as well, and then him finally beating What do him, they do? They do that like martial arty. And then Bobby Fish stands on his side and he's like, I'm going to okay. eat you like a fish. Um, I'm making a shell with my arms. That was that was good, but I think um, total power. Is I think what they say. yeah, like with uh, <laughs> I think with with Red Dragon and the Elite and everything coming in and, and perhaps um, uh, Hangman Adam Page, sorry, overcoming all of that, all of that animosity and all of these people piling up on him for then Kenny Omega to come back and and be like Adam Cole, you said you got this, but you didn't have this, and then maybe that's where we get the yeah. feud from from there but um but yeah no matter what adam cole and hangman page money 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 it's going to be phenomenal without oh, a doubt here comes the money here comes Can't the wait. money Shame Can't wait to see it uh, may, yeah maybe i shouldn't have, <laughs> i don't want him to be involved necessarily oh. although you never know um moving on now to wrestlemania 38 weekend plans because wrestlemania weekend the past couple of years understandably has been a more low-key affair mm. but this could be the first year that we get the return of something resembling our usual experience of mm. wrestlemania weekend uh, especially working in wrestling. Uh, Andrew, I don't know how familiar you are with, because how much you weren't necessarily in a, in a very on-camera role, but I'm sure you experienced with your editing the kind of, well, the mania, I guess, that goes on because of the sheer volume of shows that are on around WrestleMania weekend. It's insane. Usually. usually. Last yeah. week, uh, sorry, last year, someone sent us like three or four crates of Red Bull and they were they, they were all we lived off. For like oh. two solid weeks, it was horrendous, <laughs> and that was just that was just last year as well. It was the other other years. Often there's like way more shows. This this year there'll be more than last year. So I don't know what we're gonna do, mate. I don't know what we're gonna die. Do. We're gonna um, die. But there's been a little rundown at the minute of uh, all the shows that have been announced so far. So I'm gonna run through them right now. So on Thursday, the 31st of March, that is, uh, the Thursday of WrestleMania week. We've got WrestleCon Session 1 at Fairmont, Dallas. And then we've got GCW's The Collective Day 1. Now, it doesn't... There'll be a couple of GCW shows mentioned here. We don't yet know the um, the, the theme, I suppose, of each show, yeah. or the title of each show. But they often they often dominate WrestleMania weekend with their the sheer variety of the stuff they put on. Friday, uh, you've got WrestleMania Access. You've got the WrestleCon Sessions again. You've got the GCW's Collective Day 2. 
You've got a New Japan Strong taping at WrestleCon. Mm. Ooh, Kel, interesting. You've got um, a SmackDown taping, of course, because it's Friday. You've got Ring of Honor, Super Card of Honor. Hang on now. Ooh. What's going on there? What's Hang happening? Hang on now. I thought Ring of Honor were dead. Nah, you can't keep them down. <coughs> you can't keep them down. Fair enough. Uh, you've got Impact Wrestling as well. They have an event on at WrestleCon as well. That's the Friday so far, so pretty stacked. Saturday, you've got WrestleMania Access. You've got another WrestleCon session. You've got GCW, The Collective, Day 3. You've got WrestleMania Night 1, of course. And then on Sunday, you've got more access. You've got WrestleMania Night 2. And then on Monday, you've got Raw. Now, that's just kind of a bare-bones look. So you've got a few WrestleCon events. You've got a few GCW events. You've got Supercard of Honor. And you've got your WWE stuff. But... I wouldn't be surprised if a lot more was added in the coming months as well. Yeah, definitely. Do you think Impact... Uh, sorry, well, I mean, Impact could as well. Impact AEW yep. could announce shows around then. I assume they'll want to get in on the... Uh the uh the wrestlemania weekend hype because i mean it is an event just it for wrestling in general now isn't it you know everybody yeah. wants to celebrate the wrestlemania weekend and and, and before, lots of special things get get put on too just before the pandemic i was almost kind of waiting for wrestlemania weekend to eat itself because it seemed like it was just getting too big like yeah. 2019 was crazy mm. um there were there, there was like so many like british promotions and japanese promotions and mexican promotions like everybody was doing a show over WrestleMania weekend, and then obviously everybody had to take a step back due to the pandemic. Mm. So now we'll see what it's what it's whether it kind of builds itself back up to where it was again, and what happens because I don't know how it's sustainable. Like there's just so much <laughs> wrestlers will be having like three matches in a day for different promotions and stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it is it is crazy, and, it, and but it, I, I mean loved that, it at the same time. I loved it. Yeah, well, well, yeah. we do, don't we? Because it's like our Christmas, really. That like yeah, we just but, like the content. And then, you know what, I even liked how, like, half the shows were terrible as well. Like, I quite like that as well. <laughs> I didn't want all the shows to be good. <laughs> I watched a show last year, I think it was on, called, like, Does Funny Equal Money? Or No, it might have been a couple of years ago, but mm. Does Funny Equal Money or something? It was something... I have no idea what I watched, and I don't know who was behind the promotion. I don't mean to slag it off, but it was bad. And I thought... I was like, it was, like, midnight on the Thursday of WrestleMania week. I was like, what am I doing with my life? Like, why am I, <laughs> what am I doing here? Anyway... Sorry, just some stuff came out there about <laughs> my own my own inner thoughts. Um, finally, a, re- a recently released, excuse me, WWE superstar has announced their in-ring return. Andrew, who are we talking about? Talking about Taya Valkyrie or Frankie okay. Monet. Uh, she is going to be at Lucha Vavoom's a more impossible event. So she's going to s- that means impossible love. By the oh, way, oh wow, for, does it? I know GCSE Spanish coming out there to translate. I'm more impossible for you. <laughs> now, this whole event really, when, when I was like, okay, that's really cool. And then I read on and, and saw what else is going to be included in this. However, so uh, Frankie Monet or Taya Valkyrie, sorry, is going to team yeah. with uh, Magno, the man mountain Rudo, to face Extreme Tiger, formerly uh, Tigre Uno and okay. uh, Dama Finna at, as we said, Lucha Vavum, uh, sorry, Amor Impossible event. So it's going to be gonna, two I'm nights. I'm going to say oh, it's, sorry, probably, go it's probably a more impossible, but we'll just, we'll carry we'll on. See, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe it is, but I don't know. So it, it, the, the event's going to be two nights of pro wrestling, comedy, and burlesque, and that what takes place. Mixture. That is, that, I never even thought about that before, you know, but I yeah. guess those things kind of go hand in hand, the uh, performance aspect of uh, yeah. all of them, you know. Um, and then, yeah, this takes place on Friday the 11th and Saturday the 12th of February at the Mayan Theatre in LA. And, uh, I always wanted to go to LA. Should I've never been. Let's yeah, go I'd, do it. I'd yeah. love to. I've never been like over. I've been to France and Spain and Amsterdam. Oh, have you never been on the continent? It. No, ah. never. Never, yeah. Oh, well. I've had very different experiences the times I've been to America because it's like it's like various different countries in one, so you don't know what you're gonna get. Uh, and I've never been to LA. Let's do it, Andrew. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. Let's just go, let's go and then we can go on our roller trip. skates. Let's just go on our roller skates down, down the pavement. Down Venice Beach. Yeah, yeah. let's okay. do it. <laughs> or we can do like Dogtown and be cool skater dudes down. Yeah. In, yeah, yeah, wearing all the skate merch when we definitely, <laughs> we definitely don't skate. skate. Yeah. Do you not? No, well, I used to, but not anymore. Of course you used to. <laughs> of course. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, Ty of Valkyrie, you're right. But you said you were looking at what else was on this show. Did you mean the comedy and the, the burlesque? And all yeah, that yeah. So looking at that, Ooh. I was like, wow. But then when you think about it, I mean, you know, we've seen stranger things in wrestling and surrounding wrestling. Yeah, So this kind of, yeah, this, this kind of just like, this, I think the burlesque nature of it also fits in quite well, you know? Because that's quite so campy well. and quite comedic too, so... Um, she also recently, just 
reacting to my own terrible joke there. Um, because season four of Stranger Things is good. So she spoke to East Coast Autograph Auctions uh, recently about possibly going to AEW and said, of course I would go to AEW if the chance arose, she, she means. Um, she said they're doing something completely different and a lot of my peers and my best friends, she mentions Phoenix and Pentagon, for example, are over there. So why not? Let's wait and see what happens. She also mentioned that she'd be interested in the Owen Hart Cup. Of course, there's going to be men's and women's tournaments, mm. I believe, for the Owen Hart Cup. She said, as a Canadian, I think that I should definitely be in the Owen tournament. I was trying to think what Canadian girls are part of AEW, but she thinks that Ali could be the only one. I, I can't immediately think of another one off the top of my head no me neither not the not the moment and she said i think there needs to be more canadians in that scenario so i would absolutely love to i think that's fair enough as well yeah i didn't i, I didn't even know the ty valkyrie was canadian i don't think because because her gimmicks so um I, I knew that she was from an english speaking i just thought she was american but she, her yeah. gimmicks so tied with like lucha libre that i just mm. assumed that if she had roots in any other country it'd be mexico but no apparently she's canadian so, yeah I mean, it's just like like Vampiro's Canadian. It's one of those ones where I'm just like, what? Hang on. <laughs> um, but I think um, I think that makes sense, and I think that AEW could possibly reach out to her as well. She she was kind of a staple of the non WWE scene before she signed. Yeah, and she I mean, she's just such a strong wrestler as well. I think she'd yeah. fit in perfectly in an Owen Hart cut like. That, that would be like the perfect place for her and like quite a I guess quite a surprise if she, she did show up on AEW TV as well you know we always get these people that come in like uh, Leo Rush did before he got signed and everything mm. you know he popped up in AEW and uh, I don't think it's out of the uh, the realm of possibility at all that she uh, she very well could turn up at this what do you think because I mean I feel as though they if they were to bring in people for the Owen Hart Cup it, they wouldn't necessarily sign all of them mm. but but do you think do you think they would have a couple of outsiders come in as well or do you think they'll keep it all in house because they've got quite a big roster anyway I mean they've got a big roster but I think we'd de- we'll definitely see some surprises at least mm. you know but but as you say it it also would be a shame because they've got so much people on dark and dark elevation that don't really get a lot of TV time as well um mm. and to see them maybe step up a little bit into that role would be nice to see too it's very interesting. And I think as well, you've got to... I mean, surely they'll they'll get Brett in at some point to like present yeah. the, the trophy or something like that because, mm. you know, it just makes sense. Or maybe it'll just be... Maybe it'll just be... Um, maybe it'll just be... Is it Martha? Martha Hart? Maybe yeah. it'll just be her. But regardless, I think they'll... I think they'll handle it well. I hope so, anyway. Mm. Um, and yeah, I think that's all of the news we've got for video number... Number DOS, Andrew. Number DOS, that's it. Number that's DOS. the one. Fantastic. Well, keep an eye out for uh, anything else coming out today. Uh, I think that's all of our news for now, but if anything else more breaks, then we will, of course, keep you posted. And, uh, yeah, check out Andrew's Twitch stream on Friday. I think me and Owen will be back on the Twitch tomorrow with mm-hmm. Football Manager, but, I mean, I, I've not got COVID anymore, so... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to go to Tesco after this video. I Whoa. haven't been at Tesco for so long. Um, so, yeah, it's all very exciting times. Hope everyone out there is doing well as well. Um, leave your thoughts and opinions on any of these stories in that comment section down below and stay safe out there, stay positive and we'll see you very soon